So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! Keep spitting my face! Today's video takes us to Dublin, Texas, where we have the frauditor Nomad behind the camera. Tragically, Nomad succumbed to a drug overdose in April of 2020. Rest in peace, bro. And today, we have a special treat where PayPal Patty acts like a fool as always. <laughs> Enjoy! Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Hey, put your gun away. What you have your fucking gun out? You got an are, M you, are you crazy? Are you aiming an M4 at us? Are you fucking insane? Are you insane? Are you insane? Put your gun We're here in Dublin, Texas. We got an officer with an assault rifle out on us. I don't have to put my gun away. What's wrong with this picture? Well, it's the middle of the night and these idiots are filming on police property. And now they are approaching an officer who was allegedly armed with an M4 assault rifle. Oh, so much is wrong with this picture. Three guys with a camera got an assault rifle. It's public property, sir. Now, wait a minute, sonny boy. Law-abiding citizens? I think that's a bit of a stretch. More like law-breakers. It's unprofessional, guys. Did you hear Princess Patty Cakes in the background? We were just looking for the police department. We're unarmed. That's not entirely true, Patty. Your mouth is a deadly weapon. Oh, look how cute Patty Cakes look with his hands up. Hands up, don't shoot, officer. At least Nomad had common sense to stand back a bit. These other two yahoos, I'm not sure if they have a death wish or what. Yes, we'll be sure to tell your mama that, and they can put that on your gravestone. You bloody idiot! So we're here in Dublin, Texas, guys, and we walk up here to the PD, and one of the officers has an assault rifle out. Dude, he put his hand on his pistol, and he's gonna pull it. 
out here taking pictures. Officers refuse to identify themselves, both of them. One's got his hand on his pistol, the other one has an assault rifle out. Look, dimwit, this is what happens when you play stupid games with the police in the middle of the night. You will always win the grand prize of stupid. Alright guys, so again, uh, James Newman, he's now Patrick and I, here in the city of Dublin, Texas, police department, just walk up, as we're walking up to the PD, we had two officers, one with his hand on his pistol, the other one with an assault rifle out, aimed at us. But that's not going to deter these three idiots from continuing to play games with the police. Tinwell, come come to the front in the lobby. Can you hear me? No. I just want. I would like to get the officer's the office name. Closed. I would like this to get. Office is closed. This is we public lobby, we need sir. Request some information. Eight to five, Monday through Friday. Out. What was the officer's name that pointed a, a, a firearm at us? He didn't point a firearm. Yes, he did. Okay, he had an assault rifle. Out. out. The office is closed. Can you give Lock us his name, door. please? Can you give us the officer's name, please? We need some information. Out. What's your chief's name, at least? Officer Mendez. Out. Hey, Officer Mendez no. is the chief. Out. This lobby is closed. Out. I must apologize, officer. These jack wagons are not going to leave until you tell them they are trespassed. And then you're going to have to push them out the door. Go! He said the lobby's closed. Can you hear me? Yeah, it is. It's closed. Is there a sergeant present? No, there isn't. Is there a supervisor? Is there a supervisor? Did you call the chief? No. Okay. Did you call the chief? No. Is there a supervisor somebody? that works in this department? Yeah. Is Officer Mendez the one with the assault rifle? No. Who is, is that the chief? Here, get it, get it, you are, we already got your name. Sir. We got your name, too. You locked your name? Oh, okay. Let's go, let's go out uh, back here. Princess Patty Cakes went back to engage the officer. Patty Cakes is a real badass. Aren't you, Patty? Is it true that you abused you, you, your, your wife or something like that? What are you talking about, man? Keep calm, officer. These idiots are only there to provoke and irritate you. They're gathering content for clicks and views on their lame YouTube channel. A few minutes later. We are in the back of Dublin PD. Supposedly, uh, there's no supervisor on duty, but one is in route. Maybe from home, I don't know. But at this moment, I believe the two officers are Officer Ivy and Officer Mendez. Officer Mendez being the one with the assault rifle. We are in the back of the PD now. Much later. I guess the supervisor finally showed up here. Uh, officers are relaying what happened here, so we'll see what happens. Look at these half baked morons with their hands up again. This is just done for the camera. This is for effect. They're not afraid. Are you kidding me? They're not afraid of police officers. Over here, he refuses to identify himself. He, he won't tell us his name. 
came out with a rifle and uh, finger on the trigger, ready to murder somebody. No, he didn't. He told his boy at home, he go, put the gun back in his car so he could go home. But he, he didn't put well, it in his car. He had it on him, on his person, so ready, ready to shoot. And his finger on the trigger, very threatening. He tell, kept telling us not to approach him. He's got his flashlight blinding. Oh, the flashlight was blinding them in their eyes, officer. Now that's a clear violation of the Bain Act. Don't worry that it only applies in California. It's still a violation of the law. See, at this point, he's obviously a threat, but we needed to get his identity. We, we felt threatened. We couldn't get it. We needed to get it. So we felt threatened the way y'all came in. We need We're walking up, taking pictures. We're trying to do a formal complaint. We don't know his name. How can we, we do a formal complaint? How can we do a formal complaint without his name? We just need his identity. He's a, he's a, he's a peace officer working for the yes, public. He's done something wrong. I'm going to see what he did. Okay. Okay, but we well, have the right as a citizen to point, do a formal complaint. Right. But how am I supposed to do that without his name? His name is Officer Chris Jennings. Officer Chris Jennings. Chris Jennings. Yes. Okay. And your name, sir? My name is Sergeant Benny Noel. Sergeant what? Benny Noel. Benny Noel? Uh -huh. Oh, jolly good indeed. They got the names, and now they can go ahead and file a complaint. And don't be too surprised, officers, if you wind up in a court of law, because that's what frauditors do best. And Ivy, Officer Where Ivy. From? It doesn't matter. Okay. You, you guys are you, you guys are public officials business. acting in your official it's capacity. Hey, we've already got the word on y'all. Y'all got the same bill. You're messing with the county. You're messing with us. We're not messing Somebody with you. We're taking people. pictures. Somebody messed with you. We, we came yeah, up with you. We in, in a town where, you know, people just don't do that. Well, you got loose cannons like him? He got loose cannons. He, I, he, I, he I, put his rifle up. Then he went he, to grabbing his gun. He and hundreds of thousands of people in the United States of America think that they're public. Oh, yeah, y'all need to leave. Are we, okay. being, are we being trespassed from public property? This, this, is, a, this is an open parking lot that there's no true. sign dedicated. Listen to Princess Patty Cakes. Oh, there's no sign telling us we can't come in. You need a sign for everything. I feel sorry for you, Sonny Boy. You're only 24 years old. What are you going to do when you get older in life and you have absolutely nothing? We're not arresting anyone. We're talking to you as a shift supervisor. Okay. We got his name, guys. Right, hey, we'll do a formal complaint out. this week. Thanks for coming out and uh, getting, us, getting us his identity. We appreciate that. Uh, I mean, it's a fever. He doesn't have the right to pull his gun like that when we are no, not a threat. Exactly We're not a threat. Well, you'll see the video. You'll see the video. Well, besides the complaint to the city council, hundreds of thousands of people will see that. Hundreds of thousands of people will see this video? You mean other than the 10 people who are watching your live stream right now? Is that what you mean? Whatever. And nobody's going to be pleased with it. Nobody will. Yeah. We're not going to edit anything. Another eight, eight, the lobby is, is, is open to the public. It was open. We went in to make an official complaint. We went into the lobby. lobby was, to public do lobby complaint. was unlocked. We were asking for your name, sir. It was back to law. Well, that's your bad thing. If a bank is unlocked past time. A bank's a private business, sir. This is a police department. This is a government building. This is supposed to be a safe place, not a place to walk up with guns drawn. Normally, a police station would be a safe space. But when you walk around in the middle of the night taking pictures, it's not such a safe space after all. And you guys are here to be tyrant murderers. This is why, this is why the public hate the police. The only body's getting out of hand is you, sir. Earning the hate from the public. This is why there's a disconnect between between the public and police. No, you. It's, it's you. you. We're walking you down the street. You have gotta start realizing that. What you People like us, law-abiding citizens, walking around taking pictures of the police department. This is a lawful activity, taking pictures in public. It's not a crime to take pictures. You are absolutely correct, there, Patty Cakes. 
It's not against the law to take pictures. But why do you insist upon doing it in the middle of the night? Oh, that's right. You're trying to get clicks and views for your pitiful YouTube channel. I forgot. And he had no right to get his gun because we have cameras. Really, that's the only problem. He's, 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 you know he's going to be on the news one day as somebody who, he's going to pop off and murder somebody. He's, yeah. Look at him right now. Is he even sober right now? I mean, how long of a shift has he been working? Bobby Hill, also known as PayPal Patty, just can't shut his mouth. He has to have the last word. Oh, uh, tell us more, PayPal. Down, but not out, I yelled. Let go of my purse! Just because he has cameras does not mean he has the right to pull his gun out and intimidate with his flashlight. Or I'm not talking to you. Where's I'm talking right to you. Hey, 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 hey. I want to know. Be quiet. Hey, you know what you like to see the red dot on the GoPro? It turned off. What the hell is this bloody wanker babbling about? Shut your mouth already. Nobody's going to shoot. You're definitely a few fries short of a happy meal, buddy. You can tell the difference between yeah, a laser light and a red light. There's one on your suit, right? There's one on your camera too, right? This is what happens when you get low intelligent people together. When you have a low IQ among three people, bad things are going to happen. If you thought you were in danger, why did you stick around? I would leave, and I would leave very quickly. But that's just me. My IQ isn't my shoe size. Well, hey, that's what that we're, we're, walking walking down down a we're walking down a public You're street, sir. Serving. Bye, Jennings. Now. All right, guys, so that was the Dublin Police Department. Dublin, oh, Texas. Uh, Out here with James Freeman. Who's now Patrick? Dublin, Texas. Dublin, Texas Police Department. That was uh, Officer Jennings who had the assault rifle. Sergeant Knoll and the heavyset officer was Officer Ivy. Well, there you have it, folks. That could have turned out much differently. Could have turned out tragically. But that's what happens when you get three idiots together who believe they're doing the right thing when, in fact, they're just idiots. They can't help themselves. If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.